Parents tonight fired off questions about the prospect of a special education only facility in Fargo. They don't see how this facility could be properly staffed with trained professionals, how it would benefit their children, or how the district is going to pour $11 million into the project. Tonight, Valley News Team's Katie Opperly sat down with the Fargo Schools Superintendent to ask these questions head on. Is it fiscally responsible for a district to dump in this many millions of dollars? into something that we don't have enough information will actually work. This is an emotional time for these parents of children who need specialized learning environments. And they ask question after question regarding a level D facility. We don't know how many people are gonna be in it. There's real questions about being able to get the staff. Fargo Superintendent Rupak Gandhi acknowledged the parents and their concerns, but left many questions unanswered, saying they will be addressed throughout the planning process. There will be more information around staffing, like I talked to you about. We are having that meeting with community partners to see what does that look like and what does programming look like. And I think that would be a legitimate question in that discussion to have, but I don't think that we would put something forward if we didn't think we could staff it. This multi-million dollar building is expected to house students who need to spend more time out of the classroom to reach their academic goals. What we're trying to do in this setting is really reduce the amount of stimuli that a student may have to encounter that might inhibit them from academic progress. And in order to do that, we're providing a unique setting. Rupak says when it comes to staffing, the district is talking to people that have reached out and offered the kind of services needed. Is there a concern for staffing for this facility? You know, as of now, as we're still in the programming and developing phase, we've not had that concern at all. Rupak said a major takeaway from what's proposed is there would be expanded services offered in the district. It would not take away from what's offered currently for students with special needs. In Fargo, Katie Opperly, Valley News Live. To see a sketch of what this facility could end up looking like, head over to our website, valleynewslive.com.